What a beautiful day. And what a perfect day to buy a new car. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been waiting for this for so long. You guys already know. For the people who have been sticking around with the channel, you guys know I have a problem. Problem? I sell every car I get. Um, it's not a big surprise every time I do, but um, it is to you guys and I feel bad because I know you guys want something that's gonna stick around for the channel. And that's why I'm so stoked to bring you guys the new car that I just got. So, I've had a huge plan. I wanted to do something different. Um, the people close to me know that I wanted to build some sort of a limo. Uh, I thought of doing either a Miata limo, buying two Miatas, cutting them in half, and then now that I work at a place with welders and stuff, hopefully uh, I could probably get one of the welders to help me out, pay him to, you know, weld up a Miata and then have a four door or four seating Miata. So I thought, you know, that'd be insane to do. Nobody on YouTube has ever done that. So don't steal that idea because that will come soon one day. But months ago when I, when I had that idea to do the Miata, um, I thought, you know, why not do some little stupid stuff on Photoshop and I'll throw three of the pictures that I got. So right here, I got a picture of a four door eight six. Um, this was just me honestly fucking around. But so right here I have a limo Civic. The Civic would be super easy because you can literally get those EKs for like 500 bucks a pop. Uh, you could probably get them for cheaper even if they're crashed on the auction. And then the third one is what I'm about to show you guys and what was the cover photo of this uh, video. And it is a G35 sedan with a 350Z front end. So I know it sounds insanely stupid. Like who in the world would ever do that? It's the ugliest thing I've ever, ever, ever thought of in my life. Um, but I did the Photoshop, That's uh, the picture is ugly, I'm not a professional Photoshopper, but I had a vision and I wanted to bring it to life. And um, yeah, so this is what I got. I got a four door G35. Before I show you guys, uh, I have huge plans for it. Um, assuming you guys already know, I want to put a 350Z front end on this, but that's not it. I wanna go full 350Z. I possibly wanna get a dash. I definitely wanna do the seats. I'm doing a different steering wheel, but for the most part, I'm definitely doing the front end. So here we have it. This is a 2004 G35 sedan. I know it looks really ugly right now, but I mean, this is some people's dream car. Like this is a six speed, clean title sedan, sport mode. So it has the VLSD, it's got the sunroof, and uh, it's fully loaded, it has everything possible. Everything works on it. The one thing that is bad is that I think the engine is blown. So I got this for a ridiculous steal. I guess I'll just tell you guys, I got this thing for 2,000 um, bucks, which is insane. I was about to buy an automatic one for 2,000 bucks and then spend around 1,000 bucks to manual swap it, which would have been cool. But um, this one is already manual. So instead of having to buy a transmission, I'm sure all of you guys know that transmissions for these things go for from 500 to 1,000 bucks if you want a CD09. But engines for these things go for roughly around five to 600 bucks, 700 bucks if it's a really good motor. Um, I got my last uh, engine with 60,000 miles for my Purple Z, if you guys remember that. That one was actually for 700 bucks. Uh, it was up for 700 bucks, but I traded wheels for that. So, But engines go for so cheap on these things, and I thought, you know, would I rather do a manual swap or replace the engine? And uh, this one just popped up. It was a killer deal. Like, honestly, it's amazing that it's already factory manual, which would have got me away from all the different things um, problem-wise for this. Like, an automatic one I'd be dealing with the park and stuff with the cluster. I'd have the shifter sitting farther back. I'd have to buy all the plastics for the manual swap of the insulation, everything for it to be a-okay. And since this is a 2004, I'm definitely gonna have to go through uh, emissions and stuff. It's what we got in Washington. And I don't want any of those problems for when I do register it. So that is the main reason why I got it. Factory manual, baby. Um, I, I would consider this pretty rare uh, for you know, a ZG standpoint, because you know, a lot of Z's are manuals, a lot of G coupes are manuals, but I've been searching on Craigslist for years for G's and Z's, and you don't see a lot of sedans that are factory manual. So I guess I'll show you guys around the car. The body is pretty immaculate. Um, it definitely needs a wash. It was sitting for four months, uh, just because the engine, the engine smokes really bad. It has a horrible exhaust leak, but it still runs and drives. Uh, me and Austin drove it about 45, 50 minutes home, and uh, it was mint. It's just misfiring. But um, I'm not even going to try to put some... I have some coil packs and stuff, but I'm not even going to try that. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to drive this to work. 
just as long as it, it honestly it, until it holds up and in the meantime I'm going to be looking for a new engine for it and uh, a 350z front end so this is not anywhere near what I want my vision for this thing looks nothing like this car at all 350z front end is gonna be insane I don't think anyone in the world has done it to a sedan I know if you google it you'll find a couple that have been done to coupes but I don't think anybody has done it to a sedan especially on YouTube I think that'll change the game so it's obviously not gonna stay black I'm gonna do a crazy color but I'm so stoked to finally have a car that I'm gonna keep this thing is gonna be around the channel for a long time there is no plan to sell this thing and I know I said that a bunch of times but it, and this is different this is what I want this is I want to do a crazy build like this that is going to make me completely different I'm not gonna be pulling up in a 370 or a Skyline even though those are such sick cars I just want to be so different that it's just it, it's just gonna be crazy like there's so many different plans for this car and I'm gonna show you guys every step of the way I know the front end swaps gonna be really hard but I have a plan I think a lot of people do this like the chassis is somewhat the same as a Z and uh, people put 34 front ends on 33 so R33 Skyline is what I'm talking about but people can do that I can do this um, now that I work at a fabrication shop I can pretty much do you know what I want and I have the tools to be able to do some cool stuff and I have the resources from people that can help me out and do some crazy shit like this so I hope you guys are stoked this thing it, it's it, it's it's not much to do uh, I've done a swap on this before on a Z at least and um, basically the only thing I have to do is just locate a good motor but uh, till then I'm gonna be driving this thing around I'll show you guys right here I just put the focus battery in it because the battery was dead but um, you can see the front seats are ripped and uh, these seats weigh so much especially because they have power and um, heating elements so Getting rid of these seats and putting in 350Z cloth seats will be a big weight difference and uh, also it'll just feel a lot better. Honestly these feel kind of outdated and uh, I just love the way 350Z seats look. One of the main reasons why I got this car exactly was obviously because it's manual but two because it has the black interior you can see black all around so when I do put the black seats in it'll match and uh, I like the dash and all but that's the one thing that I hate about G35s. Uh, I said I liked it, but I hate that everything is just so outdated. Like, I know it's it's pretty sick, but when you hop in a G37, dude, those are so cool compared to these. Um, so I'm gonna look up after I do all the crazy 350Z stuff. I'm definitely going to possibly do a Z dash. That sounds so sick to me, but honestly, this thing's pretty mint. I don't see why I would. I hate the steering wheel in G35s. Um, you got all the power options and stuff, but um, yeah, these steering wheels are just ugly to me Another thing that I'm stoked about was that this thing had no cracks on the windshield You can see there's some schmegma on the windshield, but no cracks That's gonna save me a couple hundred bucks and some time um, But the most time I'm gonna be saving is just not having to do a manual swap like Oh man, dude, I couldn't I, I you guys have been around a manual swap 240s a manual swap skylines, but uh, dude these new cars, I bet you they are a pain in the ass to manual swap. I'm sure you have to get ECU, wiring harness, a bunch of crazy stuff um, to make it run good. And, you know, definitely definitely need a cluster and a wiring harness just to get uh, rid of the engine lights and stuff. But for the most part, it is pretty, pretty clean in here. Um, like I said, AC works, heater works, everything works. Heated seats works. Um, and the transmission is mint. When I went and checked out this car, the only thing I really cared about was um, the transmission being perfect. It definitely feels like it has probably a stage two clutch. Uh, it squeaks, so it needs a little bit of WD-40, but you guys already know, uh, older Zs, DEZs, the transmissions always grind in third gear. I've had two Zs where the transmission grind in third and fifth gear, and it's just the most annoying thing. And when I test drove this thing, and I've been driving it around all day, um, the trans is buttered so now that i'm done kind of showing you guys around the car and stuff i guess i will give you guys a start up i'm so used to z's and stuff these g's are pretty crazy it's got a check engine light for the misfire and it smokes pretty bad but i'm gonna turn this stuff off turn how do i turn this uh 
What? I don't even know. All right, let's start this thing up. You can hear, it It sounds like shit. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna deny that it, it sounds bad, but you can hear some sort of valve noise, and also it's misfiring like crazy, but I mean, it revs up pretty good. So, you know, it, it probably, probably shouldn't be doing that. It's smoking really bad. It's got a horrible exhaust leak in the front. Apparently the guy getted the cat, and then when he put it back on, um, he didn't put an exhaust gasket, so that's why it's smoking up there. It's also smoking back here. You can see it's basically blowing O's. This thing's, this thing's pretty bad condition, engine-wise, but like I said, I wasn't really worried about that. Um, definitely that noise is like a valve or something, but hey, it runs and drives right now. It doesn't overheat, and it's manual. So for the time being, while I'm looking for an engine, this is actually a great car for me to be uh, basically dailying for a little bit. You know, it might shit on me one day, but um, a new engine is just a weekend away from swapping. You know, I would stop at Popeye's to get a Popeye chicken sandwich, but I went the day they were supposed to drop them, and honestly, bro, I know a lot of people are gonna be hating on me, but dude, they are not that good. They are not that good. Uh, it's just like a chicken tender on a freaking greasy piece of bread, but I got Chick-fil-A right down the street. I can always hit Chick-fil-A up, and they got my back every time. See, it, it sounds it sounds bad. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it doesn't sound like shit, but it it still pulls. Whoa! Yeehaw! It's pretty weird, but I'm sure it'll last a couple weeks until I get my new engine and uh, it fully swapped. Definitely, uh, if any of you guys have Z's or parting out anything, I'm looking for a hood, I'm looking for a front end, full front end, and uh, I'm looking for um, an engine. Duh. Like I said, this thing hasn't been washed in like five months, and I know that when I wash it, it's gonna look so nice. Like the paint is so good on this thing. Um, I didn't get to show you, but there's a little damage on the front bumper, but I don't really care about that, considering I'm going to Z front end, and uh, yeah, this thing's cool. This thing is the whip, bro. Got the four doors, back seat, man, six speed. This thing is gonna be insane. When I have a plan for something, I, I try to get it as close as done as possible. And now that I got a good job, I can figure out what I wanna do with this thing, and I can actually bring it to life instead of needing to sell it to help pay for some random shit. Um, this thing is such a good deal. I think two grand for a sedan G35. I think, honestly, two grand for any manual Z or G is just a steal. Like, I've never got a Z for this cheap that actually ran and drove, especially clean title. Like, clean title was a huge buying point for this. So I'm gonna check on the ground right where I parked it to see if there's any oil leaking. And it doesn't look like it, so. Doesn't leak any oil, I'm so stoked on that. I'm happy I got the new battery in, so now I don't have to jump it every time, but. This is dope, dude. I hope you guys are stoked. I'm super stoked. Probably not gonna wash it or anything in this video. This is pretty much just gonna show you guys, you know, showing off the car. Um, I still gotta clean it. It's pretty grimy. Like, you can see downstairs, down there, um, there's a bunch of shit down there. Right here, I found a bunch of water in the carpet. I cleaned it up a little bit with a towel, but, um, yeah, it's leaking something. I, I'll show you guys where I thought the leak, where I, at least I think where the leak is coming from. There's two spots that, uh, it's possibly coming from and um, very easy to fix very very inexpensive inexpensive to fix you can see right here this door panel is falling off but I'm sure um, a little bit of glue can fix that but you can tell I'm stoked and it came with a half tank of gas whoever has a G or Z you guys know that these things suck at saving gas automatic windows go up baby a little bit of tint that's always a plus turn this thing off Whew, this thing's dope. So one of the places that I thought it could be leaking was right here. You can see that this little fin up here is, uh, isn't is held down at all. Um, oh, that's hilarious. So I don't know, that's probably not where it was leaking, but I guess I'll just stick that. Come on, man. That is pretty cool though. I guess I'll keep that right there. These things have two glove departments. 
Z's don't even have one, so that's a luxury. Oh, I think, is this a, is this a manual? A infinity manual, what is this? Some insurance, a bunch of old person that owned this. Got the whole owner's manual. Wow, dude, I scored. So like I was saying, um, I think I found where the leak is. You can see that it's only right here. So um, I found right here, you can see this thing just pops off. Uh, there's a big gap right there. I could probably re-glue it. Right here, there's a gap right here. I know all these seals, um, especially on a Z, they, uh, when the heat hits them and stuff, they shrink a little bit. You can see that it doesn't want to go in there nicely, but I can get all that stuff from the dealership, brand new stuff, and then uh, pop all that back in. It was barely any water, but it was enough to splash around in. Um, it doesn't smell like mold, and there's no mold on the seats or nothing, but it's just super dirty. You can see that the previous owner was kind of a slob and uh, came with the mats. Those are sick. Front mats? Yep, front mats are there. Awesome. What is this thing? This thing go down? Ooh, the luxury. Oh, you can go through the trunk right there. That's dope. What do I got right here? Cup holders for the back. Dude, this thing, this thing is the whip right here, dogs. But also right here, you can see this whole uh, trim piece is all eaten down. It looks like freaking fell in the Hawaiian waters and got bit by a shark. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm sure I can figure out this leak really, really soon. Uh, I'm gonna start by looking at how, how much these um, seals are from Nissan or Infinity, because this, this is an Infinity. But like I was talking about, uh, the front bumper, it's got that little, damage right there and uh, this this whole front end is gonna be gone I have some crazy ideas for it um, I'm gonna be posting it on my Instagram story so if you guys want to see some of the crazy ideas that I came up with on Photoshop definitely follow the Instagram so you guys can be caught up with all the cool ideas that I have planned for this thing but I think that's gonna be it guys I'm gonna end it off here because I want to get another video out for you guys uh, it's the weekend so I'm gonna try to pump out two videos in a day uh, definitely going to go wash that thing, clean it up, and uh, I don't know, maybe do a burn ski for the next video? I don't know, tires are brand new on it, that's stoked, it's got a spare in the trunk, I'm just rambling. Uh, peace out guys, have a good rest of your night, and you guys already know, subscribe, and uh, just get ready man, should be good, it's gonna take over 2020, peace out.